Hello, my beautiful gems. Welcome back to my channel. I am Kabibi of Kabibi La B. So if you guys watched my last video, then you know that last week, Friday was my birthday, May 31st. And I feel like I have been celebrating my birthday for the past two weeks. But I love my birthday. I love to spend time with my family and my friends. I had an amazing time, but I think I'm officially done celebrating my birthday. So part of me doing my birthday was, I guess just like it's a new year for me, a new transition into a new chapter in my life. I am like on this mission when it comes to my hair care and my skin care. So I'm gonna do a separate video on like an updated skincare video and like I'm totally revamping my whole skincare routine. I'm gonna share that with you girls. But specifically when it comes to my hair, I did some changes to my regimen and I talked about it in my last video. Okay, so after I washed my hair using the products and the steps that Renice recommended, my hair felt really good. I didn't have time because it was like the eve of my birthday and I didn't want to be up until 2 a.m. on my birthday washing my hair. So I didn't take video, but I took pictures and I did share that on my Instagram. So if you don't follow my Instagram, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. It means so much to me and you'll learn so much from following my channel, I promise. Okay, so the weak link, I will say, in my wash day routine at this point is the, is the conditioner. So I actually went back to my own book to remember what my original regimen was when, and when I say my own book, you guys, some of you guys know, most of you guys know if you're new, I actually wrote my own hair care book and published it a few years ago. Um, I'll link to it below. That being said, so my original regimen that got my hair to be like the longest it's ever been, which was like below waist length, I would do like a two-step conditioning treatment where the first thing I would do would be a moisturizing deep conditioner. And then I would always follow up with a rinse out conditioner that had a super low pH and the low pH would help to seal my hair cuticle and make it so much easier for me to detangle. The company that made that, I believe was Nexus, they stopped making the conditioner. I know, it's like the worst when companies do that. So because they stopped making the one that I was using, I wasn't able to find a replacement, so I just stopped doing that step altogether. So I did some digging, I did some research, love the internet, love my other bloggers because you guys have a wealth of information. And I actually emailed them, text messaged my stylist, Renice, to get her opinion on a few different products. So I did some research, I narrowed it down to four, and I texted her, and so she suggested that I try these two. The first one I have, and I literally just got this in the mail um, from Amazon. This is the TGIN, thank God it's natural, triple moisture replenishing conditioner. And I'm also trying the Oyen, hand, I hope I'm saying that right, Oyen Handmade Honey, can't read the label. Honey Hemp Detangling and Moisturizing Hair Conditioner. So I got both of these to use as my deep conditioner and I got as my like last rinse out conditioner, I'm going to be trying the Diva Curl One Condition Original. The reason I got the One Condition Original, because I know they also have like the Decadence, which is supposed to be for super curly, kinky hair. That one I wasn't able to find any information on the pH, but this one I was. And so this one, from what I found, the pH range was, I believe, 4.7 to 5.5. If that's not it, I'll put it on, on the screen here. But I found a couple different blogs that that was the, the pH for this. Plus, with this being a daily cream conditioner, it's going to be lighter. So I don't want to put like two two like super heavy conditioners on my hair on the same day. So that's going to be my plan with the conditioning my hair. With the, the wash day products I use, oh my god. That oil wash that my stylist Renice makes, let me tell you, this oil wash is the truth. That was the first time in God knows how long that I actually had easily detangled hair on wash day. Like, I washed my hair in four sections. She texted me and said I should do six next time, so I'll do that. 
But normally when I was washing my hair before, I would actually part my hair in the sections I would use to do my roller set. Because my biggest concern is if I didn't part my hair before with the parts that I'm gonna use for the roller set, then my hair would be so tangled when I shampooed it that it would be just like, I would rip through my hair to be able to put in these rollers. I did not have that issue at all. Like I can't even tell you guys like how much of a relief it was to be able to easily part my hair. Now, for my birthday, my hair looked cute. I'll post pictures. It doesn't look like that now because the humidity got to it, but I was able to get my hair to look really cute for my birthday. It was super curly. I loved it. Um, I was, it looked good on my birthday. And, and within those 10 minutes, my hair was just like, it just, that was it. That was, I just got 10 minutes. Thank you, Miami. Um, thank you, humidity. But yeah, so I was just kind of like, eh, I was able to do some pin curls and I was able to kind of get some curls out of it on Saturday when I did brunch with my friends. And I'll post some pictures of that also. But for the most part, the curls were just like, we, you got your birthday. That's, that's all you're going to get. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so tomorrow's Friday. I'm going to wash my hair again tomorrow. I am, I'm probably going to start with the, the TGIN conditioner. So I will test this one out tomorrow and test it out with this as well and see. Let me, I'm going to think about that because I, when it comes to introducing new products, I generally prefer to introduce one new product at a time. So it's easier for me to isolate if something bad happens, exactly what caused something bad to happen. But I'll see how my hair feels. I'll see how my hair feels after I use this. If it feels fine and I feel like I'm, let me go ahead and test this out, then I'll test this out. If not, then I'll just have to play it by ear and just listen to what my hair is saying. So, so yeah, so please leave a comment below because I am looking for like an ultra moisturizing. I want slip. So leave a comment below and tell me what conditioner gives you like the best slip where you're just like, you don't have any issues with detangling it, combing through it, whatever it is. I need that because the conditioner I was using before, I kind of feel like it's not really giving me exactly what I need. So I want to try something else. So yeah, so yeah. So let me know what you guys are using. I love you guys. I appreciate you supporting me, supporting my channel. Um, I know there's not a lot of relaxed hair bloggers, bloggers left, but I'm not going anywhere. So you guys can count on me. If I am the last relaxed girl, then I will be the last relaxed girl. But yeah, so all right, I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Kisses, bye.